back to my channel. Today is a very, very unique, like I can't even say this is an apartment tour, but I am so excited to film this for you. Today we are showing off a dorm. This is the ARC at UIC campus. This is the dorm for freshmen. It's on campus. It is one of their newer buildings and it's really, really cool. And I'm super excited because today we are showing off me. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's dorm. If Sam looks a little bit familiar, this is because this is Alex's youngest brother. He's the youngest of four. You're so big now. When I first met Sammy, he was about this tall and would hold my hand. And now you're like a full on college freshman. Yeah. How does it feel? How does it feel? Uh... Decent. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's like the most like everything's fine like kind of person. Like I have no idea how you're gonna be in this video, but here we go. All right, Sam, you wanna tell them a little bit about like who you are, how old you are, like what you're going to school for? I'm a student at UIC. I am 18. I moved to Chicago about a month ago because my brother Alex and Kyra live here. I thought it'd be a really cool city to live in and be a student in. And I live in this dorm. <laughs> and I've been living here for about a month now, so I think I'm a little more settled in. And so. What's your major? Oh, computer science. Yep. I do coding sometimes. I'm big nerd. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> awesome. Sam's like a little computer genius, and we've had, had him help build like website things for like my real estate side of things that like, I don't even get to understand. But you rock at it, so thank you. Right. That being said, Sam, why don't you show us around? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the dorm. I like feel like I need to point out like this like whiteboard situation you've got going on here. So how often do you change it? We try to do once a day, but sometimes we forget. But we a lot of people had whiteboards, and we decided it'd be fun if we just wrote random questions or random little things, or like sometimes we do polls or whatever, yes. and people just write whatever they want. It has to stay censored. It's too bad. But <laughs> welcome in. So first is the closet, and it has these two giant mirrors. Do you take lots of selfies? No, I do not do <laughs> I usually honestly push it to the side. And I have, uh, as college as it gets, I have these little carrying things. I have all my essentials, because I have to walk to the bathroom over there, and it's a little messy. I love imagining you like double fisting your shower That's caddies, he's like do, going dude. down the shower. And I have to wear, I always keep these on the floor. I have to wear these shower shoes, because the, the drains and everything is completely disgusting. Sam is one of the like cleaner boys I've ever met. He's the cleanest of all of his brothers. And so I imagine you being like these disgusting humans in the bathroom. It's not that bad, honestly. Oh, really? It could be the worst. So I went to the laundry room and I left my actual like hamper and somebody stole it. So now I just have this kind of bucket <laughs> for my dirty clothes. Do you, now, do you bring the bucket back up to your room when you're doing laundry or do you still risk it and leave it down there? No, I leave the bucket down there. If somebody wants to steal the bucket, they can steal the bucket. I'll buy a new bucket. You could have said the same about the laundry basket. The next big thing is the desk. Because I'm a computer science major, the desk is very important. I'm going to be spending a lot of time getting arthritis. So <laughs> I'm a very organized person, so I always have my whiteboard with everything I need to do. I have 15 total amount of times I can go to the dining hall, so I keep a tally. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you keep track of it? Yes. Actually, three. You don't take that. He ate today. That's good. Yep, I ate today. We can tell your mom that you ate a meal today. This is my pride and joy. We have the computer set up. I have a beefy computer down here for computer science stuff. And I think the main thing, the coolest thing I did for this is that I got this adjustable monitor stand. So if I really want to, I can watch stuff in my bed by carrying this 180 degrees. Oh wait, that's actually so cool. Yeah. Have you done that? Yeah, I've done that a hundred times. If I'm like watching YouTube or like a movie. A hundred times? You've only lived here a month. Ten times. <laughs> Three times a day, you're like time for a TV yes. bed. <laughs> it's amazing. So I'll like watch a podcast or whatever, and I'll turn the TV and I'll literally be in my covers. You I'll watch podcasts? Yeah. <laughs> that's all he does. I guess while we're here, should we just introduce Yair? Yeah, Probably. You're just here. He's gonna be the end of the. He's like this. <laughs> I'm his roommate. <laughs> so yeah, I'm more familiar with the area. I live closer. I'm also 18 freshman. I'm an art major though, photography major. We're like we get along very well, but like our like interests a little bit flip sometimes. So you know, there's that. But we do have a lot of common. All of that. <laughs> yeah. We'll show, we'll show his section in a minute, but I mean, you're in the background. I feel like it's rude to not introduce you. Uh, then we have the bed. 
There's really nothing fancy here. I just have mostly storage in the bottom. So I have my all my soccer stuff. And actually I have an exam and then I have a soccer game. So I have everything I need for the exam and my soccer stuff ready to go. I have a giant box fan because every eye miller sleeps with a giant box fan. They all do. It took me a while when Alex and I first started dating to get used to like the sound of a box fan on. What was that? <laughs> it's comforting. <laughs> it's nice now. Uh, and then just this little shelf. <laughs> Some extra storage. Yeah, extra storage. A and, the, and the beautiful view. The, the view is one of the best <laughs> parts of your dorm for sure. Like it's so cool that you have just like the full of city signs. And we got really lucky. We got this side. I mean, we could have gotten the other side, which is a nice view of campus. But this is like, you have the Sears Tower and everything. It's very. Cool. This is the Chicago view. This is the Chicago view. Yeah. I also think it's really funny that you only sleep with one pillow on your bed. <laughs> like I feel like that's a serial killer kind of thing. He also sleeps on his back. Oh, you murder people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You then have your like mini fridge little kitchen set up. Yes. We have our plastic, our plates, just some cereal. Mostly we just use the fridge for rather like milk or water because we have a Ritter filter. That's an essential. It is an essential. Though but it the is water really tastes good. terribly here. I have to drink it through the filter or I feel like I'm just being blood poisoning. And then my setup over here, which is also my pride and joy. My computer, which is under my desk also. You guys have such fancy computers. Do you both also have laptops? Yeah. Yeah. Because we also that, that this is like our main source of entertainment as well. Yeah. So we have this. It's not just for school, but also sometimes coding requires eh, not usually, but sometimes requires a little bit more of a beefy like actual computer. And he does editing, which definitely requires yeah, I do. more of a beefy computer. So that for both of our needs for school and for entertainment, we kind of both have. What is your microphone for? Do you record like podcasts or what the heck? Is that? Uh, I got it mainly because I talk with my friends a lot on my computer, but also okay. I did like a class in high school. I would have to record voiceovers or like podcasts. I've done a few like mini podcasts that I would record it with. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, are you a gamer? Do you feel like. Do I look like a hot gamer <laughs> chick? Because I feel like a hot gamer chick. So, this is my clothes, but my <laughs> Look at your tiny amount of yes. clothes. Yeah, it's because I don't live far, so once it starts getting cold, I, most of my clothes is winter clothes. So that's why it's very small right now. I gotta say, I really hate being in here and realizing like how many things in here I just don't understand. And it's making me feel really, really old. Like reading this whiteboard, like it's... I don't know a lot of those words and it sucks. <laughs> it's a like... true millennial Zoomer guest. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it. Can we show off your bathroom area because I think that's really cool yeah. and then also the sky lounge? Yeah. All right. What is your water? Yeah. All right, so one thing about these dorms is he does not have an ensuite bathroom. Some of the dorms on this floor do. They're suite style where like two share, two different sets of two share a bathroom in the middle, but his does not. So he has like communal bathrooms. Yeah. So uh, they're actually not gendered, but the good part is that the stalls are actually completely like shut off. It's a shower and toilet combo. So if you come in here, it's all together and you can lock the door and it's a lot of privacy, so you don't have to be afraid of like somebody walking in on you. But you've got your sinks out here. Yes. And so it, this really blew my mind when I first came in toured with him when he was moving in. And I was like, you're gonna have to wait for the bathroom. And you said you never had to. No, there's always a stall open. So I never take poops in here, but I always take showers. This is so much more information than you. <laughs> So here's the Sky Lounge, and it's, it's probably the place I spent the most time at when I'm in this building, because it's just this giant communal space where everybody can kind of go to and just do whatever. This is like where you most commonly hang out with friends though, right? Yeah. Because your dorm room is so small, like you're not bringing no. friends in there. I've, it's just you and Yair. <laughs> I, yeah, I've very rarely been in somebody's dorm and like talked. Okay, so other than the bathrooms in the Sky Lounge, you have laundry and a study area on the third floor, right? Yep. And it's actually very big study, private rooms you can go into with your dorm key, actually. Because there's a TV in each one, so we like connected like a game console, play games and stuff. He's fun and a scholar. Yep. <laughs> and then laundry area, would you say it's like pretty nice and easy to use? Yeah, all the machines are free and you can just throw them in. And then there's these arcade machines. 
I don't think anybody actually uses them. It's just one of those things like, we have arcade machines. <laughs> Who calls them arcade? It's because you're so young. Like arcade games? Okay. <laughs> All right, well that basically wraps up the whole tour of the Ark. Sam, thank you so much and Yair for letting us show off your apartment. Apartments? This is a dorm. This is just a dorm. This is definitely the smallest like space that I've ever filmed, but you fit two people in here. Like this is smaller than I think probably any studio apartment that I've ever filmed. And there's two of you in here. I love it. When Sam first moved in, he was like, yeah, from just about any part I'm in my dorm room, I think I'll be able to hold hands with my roommate. <laughs> But Sam, thank you so, so much for letting us show this off. No problem. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let us know what was your favorite part of the arc. If you haven't already, hit the big red subscribe button because I have a bunch of apartment videos like this. This is my only dorm one, but I have a bunch of apartment videos and I have a ton more rolling out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again. And I'll see you next time. Bye.